Hey Ham Fam, welcome to the Ham Radio Crash Course. Today we're going to talk about programming your Zoom Spot RPI or just about any Zoom Spot. The software is relatively the same and the process will be the same. Reminder, please do not program the frequency to 435 or anything lower than 435. That is where satellites operate. I made a mistake, I've corrected it, but please don't do that. All right, on with the show. Thanks for watching. Programming your Zoom Spot is straightforward, but there is a regimented series of steps that I recommend as a best practice. The first thing you do, and by the way, we will be using, we are using, let me get this out of the way for a second. We will be using my Zoom Spot RPI. And if you bought this from HRO, the SD card you get is preloaded. You just need to use that and you can start from a little bit further on. But if you have an issue, um, you will likely need to reflash or maybe you just want to start fresh and, and go through that process. And so I'm going to, I'm going to work through that with you a little bit here. So what you do, what I do is I use something uh, called Belena Flasher and there is it. Yeah, Belena or Belena Belena Flasher. It's for Mac, but there are multiple flashing pieces of software you can use. Here it is on the screen here. And basically, you are just going to download the image off of the PyStar website, um, install it, uh, load it, and then select a drive and then flash it. It takes about 10 minutes total with the verification steps that need to go through. So very straightforward. Um, I'm not going to do that in process because I've already done it. So. Going back to my Pie Star here, uh, I'm going to start this per this guy up. It's on a fresh flash. I'm going to try to start it. Yeah, the light came on. So there's your light right there. Ah, there it is. Pie Star setup. Okay, so I'm joining the um, the Wi-Fi. Uh, you'll do this on your own. Join the Wi-Fi, and once it's connected, you will go to another screen. I'll show you. Someone is asking in the chat. No D Star. No D Star currently. Um, DSTAR functions a little bit different than Yaesu System Fusion and DMR. So we're we're primarily working through the ones that are easiest to start with, and then maybe we'll think about DSTAR. Okay. For those of you that don't want to go through this Wi-Fi process, I highly recommend the PyStar Wi-Fi website. It is pystar.uk Wi-Fi Builder.php. And that will allow you to enter an SID and or an SSID and then your password. And you can drop that file into the boot image of the pi star right on the sd card and start it up for the first time oftentimes that will work i've had less success with that but hey your miles will vary so first time um i'm being uh this is the website right now for the pi star it's asking me for a password you can't see that the password is pi dash star and the password is raspberry on a default load should be loading up right now okay so well that's fun where did that uh, SSTV thing come from? Bye-bye. So this is the bare, no configuration, PyStar digital voice configuration screen. All these are standard, the frequencies, the little green thing that you see. I'm going to scroll to the bottom here down to the Wi-Fi configuration, and I'm going to click Configure Wi-Fi. See, it's empty. There's no Wi-Fi adapters identified. I'm going to click Scan for Networks. We've got a Hoshnasi, a Frontier, and then a Barsimo. So I'm going to click on Hoshnasi. Does this... Uh... Good, it doesn't show my password. I will change this after night, just in case. So I'm going to type in the, the PSK, the password for the Wi-Fi, and I'm going to click Save and Connect. And then I'm going to just stop for a second. I'm going to take a couple of breaths. I'm just going to go... Now, what I like to do at this point... There are other ways to do this, but I like to scroll up to the power control, the power option here at the top, right under dashboard, admin, export, or expert, and then power. Click power, and then reboot. So I'm going to reboot it. I'm going to let it reboot. I'm not going to touch anything. We're just going to wait. We're going to wait until this screen goes away and the PyStar comes back online on the Hoshnasi Wi-Fi SSID. That's the goal here. So believe it or not, <laughs> through all that, the Wi-Fi came up on the Zoom spot. So it's connected to my Wi-Fi router here, um, the Hoshnasi Wi-Fi router, which is exactly what we wanted it to be. So 
What I do at that point is I fill out the general config uh, space. So I'm going to type in my call sign, KI6NAZ. Oh, let's do that again, 6NAZ. I'm going to change the frequency to 435075. That's just the one I use. You don't have to. Uh, I believe I'm in 38, and I'm in 1118.06 is my lat long. Locator is Cerritos DM03. Country is United States. And my modem type is a Zoom. Oh, you can't see this, but you need to select your modem type. Mine is a Zoom Spot Raspberry Pi hat. Mr. Hat. And then I am in the Americas in Los Angeles. So I will select that. Okay. And I set it to English US. So fill out that whole general thing and click apply changes. Believe it or not, we should get through this pretty quickly. Um, so so it's it's taken the settings. Once you get the Wi-Fi going, it's, it's very straightforward. So hopefully this is not gonna crap out on us. Hey, there he is. Hey, right on, Clint's here. Very cool. Okay, we're waiting for this to restart, right? Before we, we trudge on. And really the, the piece of advice I have here is, is take your time. Take your time with this. Let it do what it needs to do. It will generally sort itself out. And if it doesn't, just reflash it. Just just reflash start all over. And then I'll show you, you're gonna save the image off and then you will be good. Once you have a good image for what you like, you can just save that and reload it and save it and reload it. It's very easy. So now um, we have a new set of options. We have DMR mode, Yesu system fusion mode. So I'm gonna check the box for DMR mode, Yesu system fusion mode. And I do have the PRI or the RPI. So I'm gonna click display type OLED, which is at the bottom of the MMDVM host. And I'm gonna make sure that it is G4KLX and I'm gonna apply the changes. That's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna go um, Yesu system fusion and DMR. And we're gonna hit apply again and hope for the best. Again, just, just let it keep going. And thank you all for sticking through this with me as we're dealing with the hardware problems. I have decided I'm buying a new computer after this. Yeah. So let's switch over really fast so I can show you what's going on over here. So here's the PRI, it's flipping out, or the RPI, I keep saying PRI. So you've got DMR and then Yesu System Fusion and it's going back and forth and then the screen is totally gone crazy, right? It's just a bunch of snow. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna click on uh, expert and then MMDM host and I'm gonna search for LED. The first one is display OLED. The second one is the LED section of settings and I'm gonna change the type from three to six and I'm gonna apply changes. And hopefully this should sort itself out and there it goes. So MMDVM, right now there's people talking on Fusion. I don't have a radio on and it defaults to America link. So we want to change that. So I'm going to show you the screen here. I'm going to scroll down to Yesu system fusion. Actually, while uh, I need to do an update before then. So go back to the top, click the update button. So now we have the screen working. We have the Wi-Fi working. We have DMR and Yesu system fusion on. And we're going to do an update. And the update will allow us to load all the new reflectors and any update to the image there is. Any software updates will get pulled in at this point. It's, it's not that you have to reset the Pi Star after every change. I just do it because I've had lots of problems in the past. And so this is the, the way I do it to be very consistent and have uh, nice, fun, simple times. No, this will not do a firmware update. Um, it is just a update to get the most up-to-date reflectors right now. That's why I'm doing it. Because I want to load the HRCC reflector. So how you do that is you do an update and that'll get you the reflector. So now when I go down to the Yesu System Fusion uh, startup host, which is right there in orange, uh, I'm going to go up to, and you can't see this, but you'll see it when I select it. I'll read it out for you. We are in US. 
the uh, YSF 01037 US HRCC link HRCC link. I'm going to change the APRS to SoCal APRS2.net. This is something you can do, but you don't have to use my APRS. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to input my DMR ID, which is 110-7758. Okay, and I'm going to change my uh, Brandmeister over to United States 3101. So I've done a whole bunch of changes right now. Um, at this point, you can do a lot of changes. Then I'm going to hit apply. So we're going to let it load right now. And it's going to go through its process. Again, let it do its thing. We don't need to mess around with anything. And we know that it's working because it's restarting right now. It says close. And then hopefully if it all comes back up and it shows the MMDM, so there you go. MMDVM again, it's in startup and the Chrome uh, browser is restarting. It's loading right now. Okay. So now we have a fully functioning uh, PyStar, ZoomSpot PyStar, ZoomSpot running PyStar. So it, it's working on Yaesu System Fusion on the HRCC link, and we will test that right now. And it's also working on DMR. So let's do the Yaesu System Fusion first. Let me go back to my wide desk shot here. KI6NAZ, KI6NAZ to the Yaesu System Fusion HRCC room. Uh, anyone there to copy? Cool. Okay, thank you for coming back to me. So are you guys running Zoom spots or hotspots as well? What are you running? And what radio? Well, I, wherever the Raspberry Pi version is, just the MVDVM modem. And I'm going into it with a Yezu 991 lowest power I can get. Very cool. Was there another station there? Go ahead. What antenna's on my yeah, radio? VRL. Uh, I'll tell you Yeah, right on FT2. This antenna is a signal stuff signal stick. It's the antenna we're giving away. The one we already gave away. We're giving away another one, too. No, nope. I lost it. I don't know if that was me or you. Why don't you come back and try again? Okay, it was uh, Hector KD6 of ERL. Um, yeah, running the PyTAR on a uh, FT2. Warning DMR to use your system for use on a jumbo spot. Oh, so that was Loyal. He's running uh, DMR to Yaesu System Fusion, which is a conversion you can do. Um, through his DMR radio. So he's talking on Yaesu System Fusion, which you can do too with a zoom spot. Wow, there's a lot of lag. I don't know why that video is so much lag. That's kind of funny. My own video is all screwed up. Let's try DMR. Okay, zoom uh, to the HRCC is the talk group I have loaded. So I'm going to key that up. And the there you go. So now I'll just say, hey, KI6NAZ, KI6NAZ, doing a check on the DMR ham radio crash course talk group. Is there anybody there to copy? Whiskey 8 Kilo Juliet Romeo 5, Thompson. So pretty straightforward. Setting that double talk, push someone, so KN4, KBC. And there's Loyal to wrap it out. And it says Zach. You see that? Pretty good. Man, that's, so that's pretty much it. We just did the whole thing. Now, we can we can flip this around a little bit. So let's let's flip this around. Boop, boop, boop. So let's turn off uh, Yaesu System Fusion mode. And let's turn on uh, DMR to Yaesu System Fusion. So let's go ahead and apply. Okay. So now we're going to see something down here. DMR Master. We might not be able to go into the reflector now that I'm doing this live. I'm thinking about like, well, that's not going to work. That might not work. We need to make it DMR to Yaesu System Fusion. Uh, in fact, I think I did this wrong. I know I can go from D, uh, it's easier to go from Yaesu to, to DMR, at least for me. I've already worked that out. I might be shooting myself in the foot. We'll see how it goes. It's really not restarting, um, to be clear. It's not really restarting.